Hi, Reba. Hi, all the great ladies from the American Cattle Women Association. When Reba asked me to uh, say a couple of words uh, at the start of your, your meeting, I had to really reflect on uh, which lady really had a profound impact on my life. And I decided to talk a little bit about my mother. So I'm going to introduce you to her and just say a couple of things. And yes, she did whip me when I had a foul mouth. And uh, no, it didn't help that much. But on a more serious note, uh, my mom uh, lived very close to God. And she taught us that as a family. She uh, worked hard and raised a family in a small rural community in South Africa, loved her husband, cared for her kids, and she taught us that. And I think uh, the one thing that is no different in her than most other ladies, or mothers mostly, is man, she always found the good in anything that happened. Whether it was good or bad, she could pick up the little positivity and the little good thing. And, and as I grew older, I, I kind of figured out why, why women do that. They do it to protect us. And they do it to, uh, to prepare us a little better for future. And growing up in, in a community and, you know, small communities are still really tight knit. Um, you know, she really instilled in us the, the importance of community. And growing up in Africa, there's actually a, a, a local native word for uh, community and, and what it stands for. It's called Ubuntu. And what it means, it's, it, it just simply means I am because collectively we are. And the American National Cattle Women's Organization really, for me, is one of the, the, the organizations that I can look at and I can see that. You know, I look at some of the programs. So I look at the collegiate program. I look at the things you guys do as individuals in schools and at colleges to help kids understand where a, where a piece of steak on a fork comes from. And I think those things are critical for us, for people to help understand and, you know, have empathy and, and, and really know our industry. Uh, and I think those things are critically important. You know, looking at it from the other way, uh, the WIRED program is something that, that I hold very dear. And, you know, that's kind of how we really got into our sponsorship uh, relationship with, with the American National Cattle Women's uh, Organization, you know, where, where the organization now collectively empowers women to run a cattle operation and assist them and helps them and teaches them and trains them and gives them the tools. I think that's really exciting. And that's, that's you know, some of the key reasons I think you guys live Ubuntu. And that's why for us, uh, it's a good partnership, and it's a partnership we want to we want to build on. And I, you know, just to look at our company and our product, I think ladies and especially you know moms uh, understand our product. You know, the Multiman 90 is an injectable, essential trace mineral product, uh, and we inject it, and you know it works. Uh, and and really, if we look at taking that product and employing it in a cow before she calves or a cow before we need a breeder, or a bull before we, he needs to start a breeding season, or any cattle that we need to put a vaccine into, I think if we can assist those cattle to bridge those little challenging gaps uh, that they experience during those times, you know, cattle will repay us with improved health and better reproduction, and that helps us make a living. Uh, so I, I'm not gonna really belabor the product deal, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was requested to uh, do a, a little small introduction to our Multiman team. I have the privilege to work with a phenomenal team of people, and uh, I had to say something. And I was really thinking about 2020 and 2021 and all the challenges that we face and all the different things that we need to do. And, you know, I came up with one, with really one uh, request. I said at the end of this year, at the end of 2021, uh, how, how will we measure success? And we'll measure success by, uh, by simply looking at whether each individual in our team impacted one life positively. So I truly believe that if, if, if you can imagine every American impacting another life positively, I think that's truly powerful. But we're going to start just with our small team of people to do that. And we see a lot of opportunity every day. I mean, we see people 
that need help. We see people that suffer. And I think if you can do something positive for anybody on a daily basis, I think you've, you've done good. But also, don't ever forget about yourself because you have a lot of people that rely on you. And if you can take care of your health, you take care of your mental health, uh, I think we'll get through challenges a little better this year than maybe we did last year. But really try and impact a life positively. So with that, I'd like to you know, conclude with maybe two or three uh, messages. I think number one is I really wish all of you a phenomenal, positive and constructive meeting, even though it's virtually. But ma'am, to you individually and your family, I have three wishes for you in 2021. I wish for you health in this year. I wish for you safety in 2021. And I wish for you success in the things that you endeavor with the grace of God. And yes, we're going to have some challenges, uh, but I wish for you to remember two things when we face challenges this year. Number one, I think you're not alone. And number two, I'd like for you to think about, uh, you know, I truly believe that we live in the greatest country in the world. And may God bless America in 2021. And may he bless the cattle women of America, especially in 2021. You all have a great meeting.